Hello and welcome back to the Carl Lewis Academy YouTube channel. So we're just taking off from where we left in our previous video. So in the previous video, we changed the name of the computer or the host name as sometimes it is called. We configure a static IP address. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how we can configure the server to be our first domain controller. So I'm just going to head back to my VMware Workstation Pro. So I open that. My server manager is open. So very first thing is before you can configure a Windows Server as a domain controller, you first have to install the Active Directory domain services on the computer. So in order to do that, we will go to niche and then we'll come to add roles. So I'll click on that. I will just click on nest. And the role that we want to install is a role based or feature based installation. So I'll keep it to the first option and click on nest and then and go to nest. And we want to install Active Directory Domain Services, which is ADDS. So I'll click on Active Directory Domain Services and just click on add features. And then I'll click on nest. And then as well as this nest screen, we already have everything that is needed to be installed so they are already selected by default so you can just click on next and then you can go again click on next at this stage and then you can just click on install to allow active directory domain services to install on this computer so i will pause the video i will allow active directory domain services to install and once that is done then we will come and configure our active directory all right so as we can see right on our feature installation we see configuration required installation succeeded on dc01 so we have successfully installed active directory domain services on our windows server 2025 the next thing we want to do is to promote the server to become a domain controller so right here we can just click on promote this server to a domain controller so I can either click here or I can click on close and then I can just come to the yellow warning sign above here in the notification area. So I can click it and then also click on promote this server to a domain controller. So you click that and then it opens the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard. Once the Configuration Wizard comes up, we have a few options, which again, they are very similar to Server 2019 and Server 2022. You have the first option to add a domain controller to an existing domain, to add a new domain to an existing forest, or to add a new forest. So on this particular VMware Workstation Pro, we don't have any virtual server that has been installed. So since this is our very first domain controller, we will take the last option, which is add a new forest. So the very first server in your forest is considered to be the root domain. So I'm just going to name my domain KLA or call LuisAcademy.org. So I'm going to click on next. For forest functional level, it is set by default to server 2025 and for domain functional level, is set to 2025 as well. Like I said in previous video, I would like for us to add member servers to this domain environment. And one of the member server, we can have it to run server 2019. And another member server can run server 2022. And then we'll have this one to have server 2025. So we'll have three servers. They will be used as backup servers, so to speak, so you have the, the primary domain controller, the secondary and the third option so that in case one of these domain controllers fail, users are still able to access resources on your network because all the authentication and authorization will go through domain controller 2 or domain controller 3. So because we have plans to have a server 2022 in our environment as well as a server 2019, we cannot keep these options to, for example, the domain functional level. We cannot keep it to 2025. It means that any operating system that is below server 2025 will not become 
or domain controller. So the very first thing we want to do in order to support Windows Server 2019 as well as Windows Server 2022 in this environment is to change the forest functional level from 2005 to change it to 2016. And then once we change the forest functional level to 2016, it will allow us to drop the domain functional level to 2016. So now that we have changed both the forest functional level and the domain functional level to server 2016, this Active Directory environment can now support either server 2016 or server 2019 or server 2022. And since this is the very first domain controller, so Microsoft recommends that it is integrated with DNS. So we're just going to keep DNS on the first domain controller. And since again, this is the first domain controller, it is our global catalog, which is already selected by default. Because this is the first domain controller, it cannot be made or read on the domain controller. So the option is gray out. Then we have the directory services restore mode password. So pretty much what this is for is a password that you set up so that in case your domain controller crashes or has a problem and you need to restore it, you will need to confirm this password. So I'll put in the password. I'll just click on this. And then this is just a warning. Click on this. We'll give it a few seconds, allow it to populate the NetBIOS name. So the NetBIOS name is KLA. So we'll click on this. And then these are the default locations for where the Active Directory database will be kept in the Windows slash NTDS directory on drive C. The log file will be kept in that same folder as well. And then we have the system volume file will be kept in SysVol. So those are the default locations. If for any reason that you need to change those locations, you can click on these three dots and change the location. I will just keep it to the default. I will click on Nest. Then this is a summary of everything we have selected so far. So I will just click on Nest and then it's going to look for prerequisite that is needed for the domain controller operation. So I'm going to give it a few seconds and allow it to go through all the prerequisite. We see that all prerequisite check pass successfully. Click install to begin installation. So even though there is a warning at the top, but the last option tells us that we have met all prerequisite check. So we'll just click on install to install our Active Directory. So we'll give it a few seconds and allow it to go through and then we will continue with our configuration afterwards. All right, so the installation of our Active Directory domain services has been done successfully. So we'll just click on close, it automatically restarts. So I'm just going to give it some few seconds and allow it to restart. And then once it restarts, we can continue on with our setup and configuration. All right, so since we have successfully restarted the server, I will just send control or delete to the server, put in my password and press enter. And now I've successfully logged into my server. So to verify that I have successfully install and configure Active Directory. I will click on Tools and you will see that we now have Active Directory Administrative Center, Active Directory Domain and Trust, and Active Directory Site and Services, Users and Computer, Active Directory Module for PowerShell. So we didn't have all of these before. And then even the ADSR Edit, we didn't have these before. But since we installed the Active Directory Domain Services role and configure Active Directory, we now have all of these. And also when you look on the left side of the server manager dashboard, we can see that we have the Active Directory domain services, which is ADDS. So this is how we configure Active Directory on Windows Server 2025. So like I said, it's very, very similar so Windows Server 2019 as well as Windows Server 2022. So once you are able to do it on Server 2019, it is the same as Server 2022. It is the same as Server 2025. And even with previous versions of Windows Server, even Server 2012 is the same. Server 2016 is the same. So don't feel like you have to install Server 2025 in order to do this. The configuration are pretty much the same across the different Windows Server 
editions beginning from server 2012 all the way to server 2025. All right, so this brings us to an end of today's video. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Leave a question in the comment section below or just leave a comment message there. Share this video with someone who will find it useful and encourage them to subscribe as well. So I will see you in the next video. Take care and I will talk to you later. Bye.